In the empty valley, they built a giant, and they gave it the name of a giant in Greek mythology, Titan. Hey, welcome back to Nuclear Bunker Living. It's Nick. Today we are in another Titan. Let me tell you, already I've only spent about 15, 20 minutes. It is a way different design. In other words, it's actually a lot smaller, a lot more compressed. Kind of weird, but um, right now we're basically working our way into the, uh, the air intake. Uh, we're just coming out of the, uh, the, the PAL dome. I'm going to give you a, like a, a tour of, in relation to this particular Titan. Let me tell you, I mean, it's uh, kind of weird because there's a lot of equipment here that's been left. Um, left behind, whereas the other Titans, uh, the equipment's still there kind of thing. But also there's, there's some stuff here that um, I've, I've never seen before kind of thing. So very, very interesting. And uh, so it's going to be a very, very um, interesting exploration. It's going to be a part two. This is going to be part one today. And part two will be the other following week. So it's going to be a two-part series of this particular Titan. Let me tell you, uh, very, very different in design and also the, um, the levels of water in the actual silos. But uh, looking forward to uh, sharing that with the other community. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to walk on the sides here. Okay, we're going to venture off into the uh, air intake. First thing you notice, this entire support beam over here has already collapsed. You can see here how this uh, black neoprene, look at this, it's already dropped about probably two foot. If you look at the top, see where the concrete is here? And you can see here the rubble. Can you see the rubble? Just in there. So it's already been compromised. And that rubble is just pushing this uh, double plated um, galvanized plating. That's collapsed. The other uh, flooring has been completely removed. Is where the other bouts were in. Probably the other worst condition of a Foxborough I've seen. Come in here. If you recall from the other guy, Titan, we've got the, um, the ghost room. This entire flooring here is just leaning on one side. So the springs are already gone over here and over there. Yeah, pretty much the same condition. It's quite a bit of asbestos been left in there. Yeah, this whole flooring is just torching on one side. These are the big bouts. We were housed in there. Come through here. We're approaching the area with we've got the other blast locks. Oh wow. You can see here the entire flooring has been removed and these are completely exposed now. These are the other dust collectors here. So the air comes in here, gets filtered, all the dust, any um, debris. That's the uh, collective shoot for it in here. And one thing you notice through the other blast locks the bars, they've actually been removed. See, have you look at this one over here, the bottom one? They've all been removed. Let's go upstairs and there's a ladder here. Well, there was a ladder. Okay, it's been removed. Yeah. So over here, another angle. All the other blast valve, the locks, they've been removed. That's the bottom one, there's one, two, three, and there's another one up here, there's five in total. This is concrete. That's just rust from the condensation for like 60 years, I'll show you with condensation. 
you have like the intersection of um, hot air and um, cold surfaces basically colliding and hence condensation. And that's that rust, that collective rust. Upstairs over here, there was, there is a ladder here if you recall from the previous title. Um, that's been removed. But uh, this particular, the condition here is um, significantly deteriorated. Once again here, that's the room we're, that's the room we were actually in before. And someone's actually cut their way through here, look at this. Someone's, someone's basically had a torch here. But look at, your, look at the asbestos, if you want to just come in closer here. Look at all that asbestos. Okay, there's a ladder here, that's gone. <laughs> Someone's actually um, <laughs> used this to get across. Over, over on the other side over there, there is a, um, there's another uh, vertical shaft which leads to the outside. Uh, the shaft where air will come in. But uh, yeah, this is the air intake. Let's work our way out again. Okay, so we are in the power dome. Uh, first observation, I've got to say this, look, um, without power dome, um, it's 130 foot across, 50 foot high. This feels like around 110, 110 feet across, possibly even like 105 feet across. So I kind of, they, I mean, without Titan, way over engineered, for example, this particular one over here, uh, every, every, everything basically feels condensed and sort of some, somewhat compact over here. I'm even looking at the, uh, the gantry here, look at this. This whole gantry, I mean, it just, you can see the whole thing, it's visible where the other Titan, where we normally film uh, nuclear bunker living. You know, that gantry is just spread apart, for example, over here. But um, looking across over here, it's in really bad condition. We've got the other water chillers used to be over here. The other diesel generators. Uh, even the, um, the water boiler section over here. Uh, all those tanks have been removed. Uh, all the tanks up here. Three tanks there, three tanks over here. Even the, uh, the step up um, catwalk for the other gantry system, that's all been removed as well too. And uh, if you look at the exhaust outtake here, uh, there's just way too much debris, you can't even get through it. So we're not gonna bother about that. So let's work our way down on the bottom level over here and let's uh, leave the other mezzanine because as, as you can see here, uh, all the floor beams, there is no great for me to basically walk here. So I'm gonna just uh, comedy myself back to that side here now. There's the equipment room. Over here we've got the office. There's the other basement level here you can see. It just feels really small. I mean, this is the other tool shop. Wow, look at this. All that. All the other boiler equipment and the other sulf the sulfuric di dioxide tank has all been removed. And if you can recall from previous episodes, we spoke about this. This um, structure over here built in Tennessee, and it was used to basically um, 
Keep the, uh, the old drums such as that, for example. And there's a perfect example. Look at this. Have a look at this. This one has been left intact. So in the event of any uh, atmospheric disturbances, um, you know, if there was a direct strike uh, or even like an atmospheric burst, for example, uh, all these oil drums here, this, they use these to basically keep them secure. Look at this. Someone's actually fired a few uh, rounds in this particular barrel. So we're tying them up there. And this here is where the other diesel generators were. They're about 1.5 megawatt each. Look at this, just absolute carnage. I mean, totally stripped. I mean, this one is in really bad condition. I mean, it's just way too much desecration. Yeah, this one's in a significant decay thus far anyway. Let's see how the other part of the facility pans out. You've got to test every surface. You have no idea what's sturdy or not. It's the old latrine. <laughs> this latrine has seen better days. Yeah, I agree, latrine, rest in peace. Look at these doors. Something has warped these doors. Whoa! Tunnel junction number 10. You don't want to walk underneath that. See the oil residue here? Have a look at that. Okay, the water tank's still there. Once again, if you notice this, they tried removing this here. You got one tank. You got the other blast doors, we'll come there in a sec. And the other water tank is still here too. That would have been very difficult to our salvage back in the day. So let's do this. Let's just check out this um, access portal. Okay, first thing you see. Looks like an earthquake just hit. Look at this. Look how much dirt is actually in the access portal here. This is the actual elevator car. You get the assembly at the back here. Without tighter where we are, we've, we've basically filmed um, NBL. We're going to get this all refurbished, so it looks kind of cool. These blast doors. Yeah, that's completely seized up over here. Normally over here on the other Titans, it's about, uh, it's like a 12 foot basement area. They've actually opened up the other side of doors and just dumped a whole bunch of dirt in here. If you can recall one of our early episodes with um, the first Titan we started um, remediating. We had about uh, 13, 13 feet of water here. This one is, this one's all dirt. See all the other galvanized fencing? around the actual um, elevator shaft. Don't know whether we want to go to the top. Actually, let's do that. Let's check it out. There's another blast door near the entrapment area. I'm just curious to see whether the other uh, blast door is still intact here. The blast door is about five flights up. Good workout. If you want to get fit, own a Titan. You're going to walk up and down these stairs, probably 10 times a day. All this is galvanized. We actually removed all ours. And apparently the other devil is here, triple six. Supposedly, this particular titan. The serpent's lair! It's a cute little nest. Wow, look at the dirt here.
<laughs> it's quite weird to see walls in the um, control dome. I mean, where we normally film on nuclear bunker living, you know, it's been stripped. It's we're down to our uh, 360 degrees over here. But uh, we just you got all the other partitions. You got the HVAC room. Whoa! This been salvaged. All the HVAC's still intact. We've got a copy of the asbestos on the left hand side. All the other major springs over here have all been removed since. Look at that, straight through. Someone's been firing. Man, this is like a 20 year rehab, at least. Damn, look at this. So, <laughs> look at all the rounds here. Quite a lot of 12 gauge. Look at all that. See the other toilets are intact. Okay, our toilet cubicles all been removed. But uh, look at this. Just graffiti. A violation of the English dictionary. <laughs> if you got kids and you own a Titan and you want to piss them off, make sure they inherit a Titan like this instead of the other beach house. <laughs> if you want to piss them off, that is. <laughs> Man, where do you start from? Okay, second level of the control dome. One thing I haven't noticed is there's no consoles where the computers were. I haven't seen any thus far. Once again, a shitload of dirt. That's the, uh, the conduit run from topside. Second level toilet cubicles. The back wall here. Whoa! First thing you notice, it's not a sulfur, but also like almost charcoal. Someone has set this one alight. I mean, that looks like accelerant over here. See the um, all the other charcoal residue here. Yeah, tele telecommunications room. Underneath this is actually black and white vinyl tile. But if you look around, this has been set alight a number of times. You can see this. I feel like an ass an insurance agent right now to find the other cause of the fire and the accelerant that was used. CSI Titan. But uh, yeah, you can see here. Yeah, you can smell that too, the accelerant that's been poured around here. Judas Priest, a good band. 
1982, in fact, that can't spell priest. Look at this. P-R-E-I-S-T. I believe priest is I-E-S-T. Am I correct? <laughs> <laughs> Could see the, uh, the value English here. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Damn! <laughs> the acoustic baffles have seen a better day. Look at that. The whole thing has just fallen. In here were the other sleeping quarters of our five crewmen. But look at it now. We've got one console I just noticed over here on the left hand side. There's another one there, yeah, very good. So there's two computer consoles, minus all the electricals. I think I'm done with the control dome. I say we head out to the silos. I'm just um, interested to see whether there's water and if there is a crib that we, we actually climb all the way down to the very bottom. And also, check it out to your propeller terminals and equipment buildings. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll head up to um, L1, L2, L3. And then we'll do the uh, internal solos on the very end. And we'll stream back, back into the, the power dome. Crazy amount of graffiti, and look at this. All the walls have been shot out. Somewhat kaleidoscopic. A lot of uh, 1980s, 1990s, and probably up until about 2003, I haven't seen anything, anything later than that. Wonderful! So back into our tunnel junction number 10, we're going to head left. But damn, look at that, that's the entrance to the antenna tunnels. Very apocalyptic. God looks cool, but uh, man, the amount of work restoration wise. We're gonna make a hard left. So this is an invitation to Mike Rowe, Dirty Jobs. Mike, come and visit us. You literally need a raft. The decay is just really significant. Damn, that's crazy. The whole thing is almost caved in. 